Hey guys, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How's good evening, teacher. Going? How are you today? All good? All good? Todo bien? Yes. Good, good. Oh, good. All right. Yes, teacher. Good, very good. good. So, uh, thank you very much for logging in. Let's go ahead and recap real quick. What was yesterday's topic? ¿Cuál fue el tema de ayer? Mm. There is, there are. There is, and there are. That's right. So, when do we use there is for singular or plural? Uh, singular. singular. There is. Singular, exactly. And there are? Plural. Plural. That's correct. Now, how do you say, um, hay un supermercado cerca de mi casa? Uh, there are. Ah, no, there is uh -huh. a, a supermarket That's near. Right. Muy bien, near, cerca de donde, near? Near uh, my house. Exactly, good example, Blanca. Well done. Now, um, how do you say, guys, in general? I, <laughs> donde no hay uno? I dollar cities, cerca de mi casa. Ya no es uno, ¿no? como que son tienditas ya, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. There are, there is, there are, uh -huh, Tatiana. There are a dollar city near my house. Almost, almost there. There are a dollar city or dollar cities. Uh, there are dollar cities uh -huh. near, near my house. That's right. Why? Because there are several, many, varios. Okay. Nice. Now, how do you say, hay algunos, hay algunos niños en la clase? There are some mm -hmm. child, child, children, oh, children, uh, children uh, in the class. Exactly. There are some children in the class. Remember, we're going to be using some when we don't know the exact number of people. Vamos a ocupar some cuando no, no digamos la cantidad exacta, algunos, yeah? Okay. Good. And the last example, how do you say, no hay ningún, no hay ninguna farmacia en mi vecindario? There is not. There, ajá, podemos there decir eso. No there is no pharmacy in my neighborhood. Hi. Hey, Adonai. Hi. How do you Sorry. Say, don't worry. How do you say vecindario? Neighbor. Neighbor. Neighborhood. So there neighbor. is no neighborhood in my. Neighbor. There's no neighborhood. I got neighbor. you. There is no. What did I say? I got confused. Now, let me teach you an expression. I lost my train of thought. Say it with me, please. I lost my train of thought. I lost my train of thought. Thought. Say it with me. Thought. Cuts. Mm -hmm. Thought. Pensamiento. I lost my train of thought is something like, se me fue la piscucha, le perdí la idea etc. So, repeat after me, please. I lost my train of thought. I lost my train, train of, train of thought. thought. Good. No hay tiendita en mi vecindario. No hay. No hay. Uh, there are. There. Ah, okay, good. There is no grocery uh. store in my neighborhood, there is no grocery store in my neighborhood. That's a way of saying, repeat it please. There is no grocery store in my neighborhood. There is no grocery, no grocery store, store in, in my, my neighborhood. neighborhood. Good. We can also say there isn't any grocery store in my neighborhood. 
there isn't any grocery store in my neighborhood. There isn't any, there isn't any, any grocery, grocery store in, in my neighborhood. Any grocery store in my neighborhood. Good. So, pretty much, guys, when we say there is no grocery store in my neighborhood, no hay tiendas, pero tiendas así de Ñalupe tiene una soda. Va. Entonces, no hay tiendas en mi vecindario. Y cuando digo there isn't any, eh, hago énfasis en que no hay ninguna. ¿Ok? Siempre es negativo para decir que no hay, pero son maneras diferentes de decirlo. Ok. Again, there is no grocery store. There isn't any grocery store. Now, any can be, can be done in plural and in singular. Por ejemplo, how do you say no hay tiendas en mi vecindario? There isn't any. There isn't, there isn't a grocery store in my neighborhood. There aren't any grocery store in my neighborhood. Ahí estamos. Are, we're going to use it for plural. There aren't um, any grocery stores in my neighborhood. There aren't any grocery stores in my neighborhood. So, la diferencia con there isn't any, estamos hablando de uno, por eso ocupamos there is, singular. There aren't any, estamos ocupando en plural. No hay tiendas en mi vecindario. Y si se fija en el grocery store, con is va en singular, una, y con plural, there aren't any grocery stores, y lleva ese. Stores. ¿Estamos claros con eso? Yes. All right, very good. Remember, guys, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, let me go ahead and show you what we're going to do today. Vamos a poner la clase de hoy. Ready to start? ¿Listo para empezar? Yes, sir. Yes. Very yes, good. teacher. Very good, very good. So, repeat after me, please. Lesson objective. Lesson, Lesson, Lesson objective. objective. In this session, participants will follow a conversation in this, this session, session participants will follow a conversation, conversation about, about a neighborhood taking into account questions like about, about a neighborhood taking into account questions like, like how many, how many, many. much with quantity? How, how many? How, how many? many? How, how many? much? How many? How much? How much? With quantifiers. With, with quantifiers. Quantifier. Good. So, vamos a hablar. Primero vamos a ver una conversación siempre del, tomando en cuenta el vecindario, por el vocabulario. Y vamos a hacer preguntas de cuánto, cuántas, etc. Okay? So, let's get it here. It's starting to rain. I really hope we don't lose connection. We don't lose connection. <clears throat> Here, let's go ahead and mute the microphones, and we're going to be watching this video real quick. There it is. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation about a neighborhood. Hi again. This time we'll study how many and how much. Please notice how they ask questions and how they answer them. Remember, count nouns and non-count nouns make the difference. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on. That's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. Right, so let's go ahead and repeat a little bit so we can get this into context. 
Say it with me, please. How do you like your new apartment? How do you like, do you your, like new apartment? your new apartment? Your new apartment. Good. We're going to fix a little bit some pronunciation. We don't say how do. We say how do. How do. How do. How do. How do you. How do you. How do you. How do you. How do you like your new apartment? How do you like your new apartment? New apartment. Good. Volunteer Luis, thank you. Go. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. I love, I love it. it. It's downtown, it's downtown, downtown, so it's so very convenient. Omar Avelar. Yes. Uh -huh. I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Okay. I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Good. Um, when we say, how do you like, is, como te gusta? And otra manera de decir, do you like? So, how do you like your new apartment? ¿Qué tanto te gusta? Um, I love it. Me encanta. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Está en el centro. Pero quizás ahí el centro es diferente aquí, ¿verdad? Pero siempre como el centro de la ciudad. So, it's very convenient. Convenient means that, como que es muy conveniente, que tiene cosas cerca, ¿verdad? que la vida es un poquito más fácil ahí porque tiene más cosas alrededor. Es como vivir cerca de Metro Centro, por ejemplo. O cerca del Boulevard Constitución, que tienen todo. Tienen bancos, supermercados, Dollar City, Subways, pupuserías, pizzerías, etc. Ok? So, let's continue. Okay. Downtown. 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 Is there much noise? Is there, Is there much, much noise? noise? I don't know. Downtown. Is there much noise? Downtown. Is there much noise? En el centro. Y hay mucho ruido. Good. Next one. Oh, no. There isn't any. I live oh, on the no. fifth floor. There, oh, there isn't any. 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 Uh-huh. I live on the fifth floor. I, I live, live on the fifth floor. No, no hay mucho. Vivo en el quinto piso. Go, Roberto. Uh, oh, no. There isn't any. I love the fifth floor. Good, good. Repeat after me, please. Live. 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 Exactly. live. Now, live. cuando nosotros decimos live, esta, esta palabra es bastante tricky, como, como que engaña. Si decimos live, es como yo vivo. Pronunciation, live. 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 Pero si live. yo digo live, que se escribe igual, pero tiene diferente pronunciación, esto se llaman um, homonyms. Yo digo okay. live, es como cuando, digamos, el presidente está en, en vivo. ¿Han visto Facebook Live? Que la gente está en vivo, transmitiendo yeah. en vivo. Yeah. Okay. Esa es la diferencia entre la pronunciación. Live, yo vivo, o vivir. Live es en vivo. Ok. So, okay. live, vivir. Live, en vivo. Live. Ok, live. Good. Ok. How many restaurants are there near your place? How many How restaurants are there near, 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 near your place? ¿Cuántos restaurantes hay cerca de tu, de tu lugar? Your place es como tu casa, tu lugar. Hey, come to my place. Ven a mi casa. Right? Claudia, help hey. me, please. How many restaurants are there near your place? Nice. A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. A lot. A lot. In, fact, a lot. in fact, in fact, excellent Korean place just around the corner. The corner. Un montón. De hecho, hay un restaurante coreano justo a la vuelta de la esquina. Emerson, go, please. Emerson? All right. Blanca, help me, please. A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. Good. 
La fluidez puede mejorar con el tiempo, pero me gustó que está mejorando bastante en la pronunciación. Good job, Thank Blanca. Next you. one. What about parking? What about parking? What about parking? parking? ¿Qué tal el parqueo? Tatiana. What about parking? Good. Ahí la entonación se fue para arriba. What about parking? Que se va con las preguntas parking? yes, no. Vamos a ir para abajo. What about parking? 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 Again, Tati. What about parking? Mm. Se puede mejorar. Parking. 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 What about parking? What about parking? Good. Let's continue. Eso me llega, que probemos y así es que vamos aprendiendo. Well, there aren't, there are, there aren't, well, there aren't many parking garages. Well, well there, there are, are many, many parking, parking garages. garages. Parking garage. There are, there aren't. There are there are there are many parking garages. But I, but I usually, but I usually, but I usually, but I usually find that, but I usually find that, but I usually find that, but I usually find a place on the street. But I usually find a place on the street. Nice. Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Well, well there, there, are, there are, are many parking, parking, parking garages, garages. I, usually I usually find, find a place, place, on, the place on, the street. on the street. Nice. I need a volunteer for this one because it's kind of complicated. Me too. Me? Me? Who said me? Who said me? Who said me? 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 Okay, well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Good job, good job. El garages puede mejorar, pero luego me gustó mucho cómo unió las palabras. All right? Okay. So say with me, please. Garages. 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 If that would be one, garage. Garage. Two or more, plural, garages. 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 Bueno, no hay muchos eh, parqueos o garages, pero generalmente encuentro un lugar en la calle. Is there much crime? Como que crime? hay mucho crimen. Is there much crime? Um, Is there much crime? Lino? No. Go ahead, please. Is there much crime? Is there much crime? Crime. 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 Good. Is there much crime? Crime. Crime. Muy bien. Topando la M por el sonido. Fantastic. No, it's pretty safe. No, it's no, pretty, it's pretty, pretty safe. Pretty safe. Hey. It's pretty safe. It's pretty safe. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Lo unimos. Hold on. De un solo. Hold on. Hold on. That's my car alarm. That's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. I call you back later. I'll call you back later. Good. I'll. I'll. No, es bastante seguro. Espérate. Así en salvadoreño, vea. Doblaje del salvadoreño. Espérate. Esa es la alarma de mi caso. Ya te llamo. I'll call you back later. I need a volunteer for this one. Me again. Ok. Um, good. Ladies first, las damas primero, ¿les parece? Yes, ladies first. There you go, Claudia, go. <laughs> okay, now, it's pretty safe. How long does my car alarm? I called you back later. 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 Good, good, good. So guys, um, I always do this so I can correct pronunciation. Canciones. Canciones que les gusten, cántenlas. 
aunque no tengan voz para cantar, no van a ganar un American Idol, pero pueden este, mejorar su pronunciación. Okay. Now, es de tener muy en cuenta que con la música, generalmente, pues eso es arte. Entonces, tratan de pegarle la pronunciación, quizás con el ritmo de la música, o le cambian, quizás lo acortan para que suene bien. En cuanto a gramática, no lo recomiendo 100%, pero sí para que ustedes vayan para la fluidez es súper bueno y también para el listening. Ya si les toca hablar con una persona del de ámbito de la canción, hip hop, por ejemplo, um, yo trabajé en un lugar donde hablaba con bastante gente de color y sí, es muy diferente. Entonces, siempre traten de estar repeat, 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 repeat. That's going to take you very far. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and continue. Let me ask you something. Ya que vamos a ocupar many and much. Many much. much. Many much. Noise. What is the meaning of noise? Ruido. 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 Good. Countable or uncountable? ¿Lo podemos contar? No. No. No, no. se puede. Very good. Uh, countable. Exactly. So, empiecen a ver el patrón. Much, noise, Uncountable, right? Next one, many restaurants. Can we count restaurants? Yes, I can. Yes. Uh -huh. I so can count. Many goes with countable nouns. Empiecen a ver el patrón. Let me see. Next one. Many parking, many parking garages. Many. Parking garages. Podemos contar los espacios de parqueo? Yes. Yes. yes, very good. Yes. Now, pay attention. Si yo digo parqueo, parking, generalmente no se cuenta. Ok, no vamos a decir como parqueo en general. Hay dos parqueos. En inglés eso no se cuenta. Ahora, los parqueos en general es con el montón de lugares para parquearse. Un parqueo en general. Como el de metro, por ejemplo. Eso es un parqueo. ¿Ok? Pero no vamos a decir en inglés, hay dos parqueos, hay tres parqueos, porque si nosotros decimos eso, nos hacemos referencia a el espacio para parquear el carro. No sé si me doy a entender. Bien. Yeah. ¿Sí? ¿O no? Para, digamos, en metro hay un parqueo, donde todo el mundo se puede parquear. Y hay 752 okay. espacios para que parqueen los carros. Me estoy inventando el número, obviamente. Entonces, el espacio donde ustedes pueden parquear el carro, sí lo pueden contar. ¿Vean? El espacio. Pero parqueo en general, como el parqueo de metro, no se puede contar. ¿Me entienden? Okay. ¿No mucho? ¿Confusing? No. Mm, ok, dejémoslo en pausa. El parking is only one teacher. Ajá. Si estamos haciendo referencia a parking como al montón de espacios, como una sola unidad, si se puede, no, no se puede contar. Ahí es un sí. parqueo, ¿verdad? Sí. Pero si estamos hablando de los espacios donde están las líneas amarillas, donde parqueamos el carro. Y la cantidad tenemos... de carros donde pueden parquear. Ajá. Eso ya son los parking spaces. Okay. Los oh, espacios okay. para el parqueo, eso sí se pueden contar. All right. So, yeah. next one. Much crime. Much crime. Much crime. ¿Podemos contar crimen? No. 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 Podemos contar robos, asesinatos, etcétera, etcétera, etcétera. Pero no crimen. Crimen es uncountable. So, ¿cuándo ocupamos much? When do we use much? Contable. Ah, ¿cuándo se puede contar? Uncountable. Uncountable. Say with me. Uncountable. Exactly. And when do we use many? Oh, oh. Many. Many. Countable. 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 Exactly. Good. 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 So, acaban de aprender, señores, que many es para incontables y much es para contables. All right. Now, no. <laughs> read with me, please. In this session, we will take a look at quantifiers. In this session, we will take a look at quantifiers. Quantifier. 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 To ask questions and give to ask questions and give out answers. To ask questions and give out answers. To ask questions, to ask questions and give out answers. Good. Now let me finish. In this session, we will take a look at quantifiers. To ask questions and give out answers. Go. 
In this session, we will take a look at quantitative questions. Good. Adonai, your time to shine. Go. La que quedó pendiente. In this session, we will take a look at quantifiers to ask questions and give out answers. Answers. Good. So, vamos, vamos a trabajar con los cuantificadores y vamos a hacer preguntas y a contestarlas. So, let's get it rocking. Pay attention to the details and how to use it. Pongan atención a los detalles más que toda la estructura porque ustedes ya aprendieron cómo ocuparlo. Ya le hallaron el truco. So, let's take a look. Hello to all of you. In this session, we will take a look at quantifiers to ask questions and give out answers. Get ready to listen and take notes if you need to. Quantifiers. How many and how much? Count nouns. Are there many restaurants? Yes, there are a lot. Yes, there are a few. No, there aren't many. No, there aren't any. No, there are none. How many restaurants are there? There are 10 or 12. Non-count nouns. Is there much crime? Yes, there's a lot. Yes, there's a little. No, there isn't much. No, there isn't any. No, there's none. How much crime is there? There's a lot of street crime. We can say that when nouns in question are count nouns, we can answer using a lot. A few, many, any, none. This will depend on how many there really are. Remember, a lot is a big amount and none is nothing. When nouns in question are non-count nouns, we can use a lot, a little, much, any, none. Remember that when we talk about non-count nouns, both questions and answers are singular. Alrighty. Hello to all of you. In this session, we will take a look at quantify. All right. So, please go ahead and repeat with me. Are there many restaurants? Are there, are there, there many restaurants? Are there many restaurants? Many restaurants? So, when we use are there many, okay, um, remember that we used to say is there any? Es como que hay algún. Estamos preguntando si hay uno. ¿Ya? Aquí estamos preguntando si hay varios. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, okay. hay, vari hay varios restaurantes. Mm -hmm. How do you say, hay varias escuelas? Are there, are there many, many schools? schools? Many schools. Many schools. That's right. Are there many schools? Now, um, I'm going to get this done. This one I'm going to screenshot. Porque vamos a trabajar en Word. ¿Qué les parece eso que, que hicimos ayer? Prácticamente pienso trabajar en Word, que me den los ejemplos y les mando el documento para que ustedes lo tengan. ¿Do you like it? Yeah. Yeah, está bien. Ok. Good. 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 Bye. So, let me go ahead and send the screenshot. Les voy a mandar el screenshot para que lo tengan. And uh, the next one. Y vamos a empezar a producir. Give me a second. Here. Okay, I went ahead and sent you the screenshots already. So, as we can see the structure, in the structure below, we're going to be asking, are there many? Okay. Are there many? And whatever we're talking about in plural. All right. Now, how do we ask? Hay algunas escuelas o hay varias escuelas? Are there, are, there, are, there are there many schools? schools? Are there many schools? 
Uh -huh. Are there many schools? Good. Hay, hay bastante pupuserías. Are there many, Are there there many, many pupuserías? Ajá, pupuserías. Pupuserías. Good. How do you say hay bastantes supermercados? Are there, Are there many, many supermarkets? Ajá, uh -huh, supermarkets, correct. Are there many supermarkets? Nice. So, this is the way that you ask if there are many of something. Esa es la manera que ustedes van a preguntar si hay bastantes de algo en específico que estemos hablando. Okay? Now, so, so, sorry, teacher, y si solo es uno, are there many? Are there, are there any? Are there any? Any. Okay. Is there any? Porque acuérdense que ocupamos is para singular. Sí. Okay. Ah, okay. Sí. Uh -huh. Is, is any. there any? Right. Okay. New share. Let me change it to this one. Now, going back to this structure, say with me, please. Yes, there are a lot. Yes, there are a lot. There are a lot. There are a lot. Sí, hay un montón. How do you say, sí, hay un montón? Yes, there are a lot. There are a lot. But yes, there are a few. Yes, there are a few. There are a few. Sí, hay pocos, poquitos. How do you say poquito? Yes, there, there are a few. That's right. No, there aren't any. No, there aren't many. No, there aren't many. many. No, there are no, no hay muchos. O sea que sí hay, pero no muchos. ¿Estamos ahí? Yeah. Yes. No, there aren't any. No, there no, aren't, aren't any. any. What is the meaning of that? No hay ningún. No hay en salvadoreño ni uno. Ni uno. Cero. Caput. Done. Next one. No, there are none. No, no there, there are, are none. 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 That's good. So, acá vemos, guys, que significa lo mismo. Ni uno. Another way of saying no hay ninguno. No hay okay. nada. Nada. Cero. Caput. And... ¿Estamos preguntando aquí cuántos hay? Bless you. ¿O solo que si sí hay algunos? Que si sí sí hay, hay muchos. Que si hay muchos. Ajá, que si sí hay, vea, que si sí hay varios. Sí. ¿Y cómo preguntamos cuántos hay? How many. How many. How many. How many. How many. How many. Exactly. Exactly. So, vamos a, les voy a ir escribiendo. Esto ustedes no lo van a ver porque estoy cambiando al chat. Okay, I got it. So, ¿qué significaba yes, there are a lot? Sí, hay muchos. Hay, hay, hay muchos. Hay muchos. Hay muchos o un montón. What is the meaning of yes, there are a few? Muchos y pocos. Hay pocos. Ajá. So, sí, hay pocos. O hay unos cuantos. Hay pocos, unos cuantos. Now, what is the meaning of no? There aren't many. No hay muchos. No hay, hay pocos. No hay muchos. No, hay muchos. No, ajá, no, there aren't many. many. No, there sí hay, many. pero no muchos. No, no hay no, there muchos. Aren't many. Now, what is the meaning of no, there aren't any? No hay. No hay. No hay. No hay. No hay ninguno. Ninguno. Salvadoreño, no hay. Cero. No hay. Ok, good. And what is the meaning of no? There are none. No hay. Tú. No hay. No No hay. Ninguno también. No hay nada. Lo mismo. So. Porque les, ya les voy a ver esto. Now, how many are there? Let me go ahead and change the share. Ok, good. Ya tenemos acá, les voy a poner en, en negro el patrón. So, let's find another pattern. Restaurants. Schools, pupuserías, supermarkets. ¿Qué es eso? 
¿Son nombres contables o no contables? No. Contables. 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 How many schools are there? Are there. Good job. Now, how do you say, ¿cuántas pupuserías hay? How many, how many pupuserías, pupuserías are, there? Are, there. Yes. Are, there. are there? Are there. Para abajo la entonación, porque estamos preguntando cuántos. Are there. Are there. ¿Cuántos super hay? How many supermarkets are there? Fantastic. So, ¿cuántos restaurantes hay? How many restaurants? Pay attention to this because you're going to be giving examples. Una vez terminemos, vamos a estar dando ejemplos de esto. Okay? Now, okay. ¿cómo contestamos? There are, y el número. There are, there are many. So, five. let me get Roberto. Yes, teacher. How many restaurants are there near your house? Are there much restaurants? Ah, okay. There Entonces... Sí. Ahí estamos. There are. Or number, teacher. Ahí está. Ok. Vaya. Are there 12 mm -hmm. restaurants in New York? There are. There are. There are. There are 12. Por ejemplo, there are 12 restaurants. Y decimos el número. Lino. How many supermarkets are there near your neighborhood? There are uh, four. There are four, four supermarkets. Supermarket. Y allí contestamos con la con la misma palabra de que nos están preguntando basta con llegar hasta el número. Hasta el número está bien. Aquí yo lo pongo nada más para que lo practiquemos. Um, Lino, how many how many pupuserías are there in your neighborhood? Um, there are fourteen. Uh, fourteen. Oh. Okay. Todo el mundo se pupa ahí. Ah, oh, no lo yes. cuida. That's nice. Ah, oh, okay. Okay. So, aquí ponemos como ponemos hay <laughs> más la cantidad. All right. Good. Let's go ahead and move here. Let's go back to this one. Now, say with me, please. Is there much crime? Is there much there crime? Much there crime? Much crime? There much crime. Yes, there's a lot. Yes, yes, yes there's, there's a lot. lot. There's there's a lot. lot. Mm -hmm. Yes, there's a lot. Honorable nouns. Give me a second. Then we go with uncountable nouns. Almost there. All right. So with uncountable nouns, guys, we're going to be using much. Remember, yes, there's a lot. Yes, there is a lot. There is a lot. Lo mismo con countable, yeah? Okay. Different. There is and there are. Is the same. There's... Bueno, pay attention to this. If they ask you with R, you answer with R. Generalmente en la respuesta, en la pregunta tenemos la respuesta y en la respuesta tenemos la pregunta. So, preguntan con is, contestamos con is. A menos okay. que la respuesta sea diferente, ¿verdad? pero... Yes, there's a lot. Con el quantifier. Yes, there's a lot. ¿Hay alguna diferencia con el quantifier? Este, mm. En no, los contables veo que se utiliza el plural. Y en los, en los incontables se utiliza el singular. Exacto. 
Exacto. So, it's like we have in the chat. Como vemos en el, chat, en el documento de Word, restaurants, schools, pupuserías. Good. So, si ustedes se fijan, hay un montón, es lo mismo. Tanto para contable como para... Ok. Uncountable. Sí, hay unos pocos. Aquí sí cambia, ¿ves? A little. A little. Entonces, cuando nos preguntan con contables, podemos decir a few. Y cuando nos preguntan con incontable, decimos a little. ¿Estamos? Ok. Ok. Good. Now, no hay muchos. Fíjense aquí, ocupamos many. ¿Para qué? Okay. Uncountable. And we use much for what? Okay. Uncountable. Uncountable. That's right. So, si se fijan, la estructura es la misma. Los únicos cambios que tenemos, aparte de que en una ocupamos are y en la otra is, es que para contable ocupamos little en vez de few. Perdón, para incontable para ocupamos incontable. little en vez de few. Yeah. Y ocupamos much en much. vez de many. Many. Ok. De ahí es exactamente lo mismo. Nuevamente, tomando en cuenta que uno es con is y otro es con are. Pero los quantifiers, los que nos dicen más o menos qué cantidad hay, es lo mismo en a lot, es lo mismo en any y es lo mismo en none. Los únicos que cambian son little much, a few many. ¿Estamos con eso? Yes. Ok. All right, very good. So, let's go ahead and continue here. With uncountable nouns, how do you say... A second, I got stuck. All right, here it is. How do you say hay bastante crimen? Is there how much crime is there? Crime. Is there much crime? Is there much crime? Uh huh. Is there much crime? Say with me, please. Is there much crime? Is there much crime? Hay bastante tráfico. Is there much crime? Hay mucha violencia. Is there much violence? Ajá. Is there much violence? So, si se fijan, mantenemos el mismo patrón. Is there much? Y el uncountable noun. Go ahead. Uh, you, you can say, is there much poverty? Yes, you can. Definitely. Yes, you can. Okay. Just let me double check. I'm going to, I think it's with B as in boy, but let me confirm. No, it's with B as in Victor. Okay. Got it. Is there much Poverty. Hay mucha pobreza. Hay much poverty. 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 That's right. Pobreza. So, as you can see, we are using this. And uh, with the answers, las voy a copiar de un solo. With the answers, we're just going to change. Instead of saying, hay un montón, how do we say? Yes, there is yes, a, there lot. a lot. A lot. A lot. Sí, hay mucho o mucha, dependiendo de qué estamos hablando. There is a few or there is a little? Sí. Para incontables? Sí. A little. Sí, a little. Sí, hay, en vez de pocos, vamos a decir un poco. Good. There aren't many. There, there isn't, isn't much. There isn't much. much. No, no hay mucho. Ahí. There aren't any. There aren't any. There isn't any. Y aquí le quitamos no, no hay. There are none. There, there is, is no, there, there is none. There is none. Nuevamente, no, no hay. No hay. 
now let's move back to this one. We're going to jump back to the previous one in a second. Teacher. Mm -hmm. En el caso del dinero, ¿se puede utilizar ambas? No. Money is uncountable. Uncountable. El dinero no es contable. Okay. Porque nosotros no decimos, sí, fíjate que tengo cinco dineros. ¿Cuánto vale esa hamburguesa? Dos dineros. No, vea. Entonces, sí podemos contar el currency, que es la moneda. Currency, currency. moneda. Currency. Podemos contar dólares, dollars, colones. Not anymore. <laughs> Quetzales. Mm -hmm. Right? Euros. Euros. All right? So, money is uncountable. How much okay. money? Okay. Now, how do we say cuánto crimen hay? How much crime is there? How much crime is there? That's right. Is there? Crime. Y ustedes pueden contestar con cualquiera de las anteriores. There's mm -hmm. a lot, there's a little, there isn't much, there isn't any, there's none. So guys, okay. if I ask you, how much crime is there? ¿Qué me van a contestar haciendo referencia a El Salvador? How much crime is there in El Salvador? Yeah, there's, there, there is a lot. There's, there's, yes, there is there's a lot. A lot. Mm -hmm. no. Exactly. Yeah. So, <laughs> unfortunately, right? I, I really hope that can change soon. So, how much crime is there? There is a lot. How do you say? ¿Cuánto tráfico hay? How much traffic How there much are? The traffic. How much is traffic is there? Aha, uh -huh. how much traffic is there? Acá. Is there, okay. ¿Cuánta violencia hay? How, how much, much how violence, violence is there? Is there? there. Uh -huh. Si se fijan, lo, lo ponemos en medio, ¿ya? Uh -huh. Vamos a ponerlo acá. How much crime? How much violence? Violence is there. Mm -hmm. violence. ¿Cuánto tráfico hay? How much, How much traffic, 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 traffic is, there? is there? How much traffic is there? Correct. How much, um, How much traffic is there? ¿Cuánta pobreza hay? How much How poverty, much poverty is, there? How much is there? Poverty is there. Poverty. And if you want, le, so, si se fijan, Este es lo que yo les aconsejo siempre que estemos aprendiendo inglés. Identificar patrones. Okay. Y de la misma manera que estamos haciendo ahorita, ustedes empiecen a preguntarse, how much crime is there? How much violence? How much traffic? How much poverty is there? Solo le van cambiando el mismo y ustedes poquito a poco van tomando conciencia de la estructura. Okay. Okay. Now, ¿qué más podríamos preguntar aquí? Algo que sea no contable. ¿Cuánto pisto hay? Pregunta muy común en las familias salvadoreñas. How much money? Pollution. How much money? How much money is there? Is there. Is there. Ahí está. ¿Qué más podríamos preguntar acá? The pollution. Ok. ¿Cuánta contaminación hay? Um, how much pollution is there? is there? How much pollution is there? Y si no saben cómo decir algo, Google. Google. <laughs> Simple or a dictionary. So that's the, the advice that I have for you today. Hagan eso, identifiquen qué es lo que cambia y empiecen ustedes a hacer sus propios ejemplos. No sé cómo se dice tráfico. Vámonos a lingui, por ejemplo. All right? Okay. Now, do you have any questions with this? No. No, for this moment, no. For this moment. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. So let's go ahead and I'm going to send this to you. The recommendation that I give you is for you to practice. Cada vez que tengamos una clase de estas, ustedes hagan ejercicios, pero literalmente uno tras otro. Unos 10 de cada uno y ustedes le van a poner la respuesta que quieran. Por ejemplo, how much, let me see, ¿cuánta pobreza hay? How much poverty how much is there? Power. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And the answer? Is there yes. a lot 
There's a lot. There is a lot. Okay. Hay un montón. Now, yes. how do you say, hay poca pobreza? Yes, uh, there's, there's a little. There's a little. There's a little. Very good. Little. Ahí estamos. There's a little. Hey, um, Lino, how much traffic is there in El Salvador? Um, there's a lot. There's a lot. There's a lot. A lot. A lot. A lot, a lot of traffic mm -hmm. in San Salvador. <laughs> exactly. Specifically, well, not anymore because of the quarantine, right? But normally in paydays. When there is a strip. <laughs> when there is a strip. On uh, Cinco de Noviembre, Salvador del Mundo. There is a lot. Okay? Yeah. Very good. So, guys, this was all for today as far as the topic. My recommendation is for you to practice. That's it. Any question before I let you go? Alguna pregunta? No. Okay. No, for the moment, teacher. Thank you. Not for the moment. Okay. Good, good, good. Vocabulary, super important. Si no saben cómo complementar los, los ejercicios, traten de buscar vocabulario que vaya con estos ejercicios. Siempre el vocabulario que traten de aprender, pónganlo en lo que están estudiando para que lo pongan en contexto y les sea mucho más fácil de recordar. Okay. Teacher. Ok. Uh -huh. Teacher, eh, ¿cuál es la forma más eh, que nos recomienda para poder identificar hay, eh, las cosas que son contables e incontables? Porque este rollo, eh, bueno, yo recuerdo que ya, ya viene de hace rato de los contables e incontables. Algunas personas, algunos teachers dicen que que no es la manera esa de decir contables e incontables, pero para usted, ¿cuál es la mejor manera de identificar qué es contable? Por ejemplo, si hablamos del agua, pues sabemos que es incontable, si hablamos de dinero, a mí el dinero me generó cierta duda, sin embargo, me acuerdo de cómo se pregunta el precio de algo, pues, how uh -huh. much it is, ya entonces, pero tenía cierta duda, Ese, de, ¿de qué manera podemos identificar qué es hay cosas que, que generan duda, pues, ya, ya le mencionaba yo, pues, como el dinero. Ok. Ya, pero ¿cuál es la manera más fácil que nos recomienda usted para identificar? Give me a second. Give me a second. Um, I'm loading something on my computer. Just one moment, please. Now, the best moment that you, the, the best way is for you to know categories, que tú sepas categorías, y que tú juegues con esas categorías. Les voy a dar una, una premiere de un video que voy a hacer. Ya, bueno, ya tengo el material, pero no lo he grabado. Se los voy a enseñar ahorita. So, super obviamente así no lo voy a, pay attention to this, because I got like three minutes. So, we have... Uh, Countable nouns and uncountable nouns, all right? So, countable nouns, le pueden agregar un número al, al noun. Yeah. Hamburger, this is a delicious hamburger, una. These are delicious hamburgers, dos. Eso es prácticamente la manera más fácil de saber si se puede contar, ponerle un número, un número al principio. Otra forma es, este, bueno, déjenme darle estos ejemplos. Laptop, laptops, se pueden contar. Box, boxes. Umbrella, umbrellas. Y generalmente van con su artículo. A laptop, a box, an umbrella. Si tú ves an o a, en una, en una cosa escrita, ese noun que viene solo puede ser contable. Right? Porque el, el a y el an uh, solo va con contables. Ahora, los uncountables no se pueden poner un número antes de ellos. Y generalmente se ocupa is. Esto es cuando tú ya lo ves escrito. Okay. Y como te mencionaba, no se puede ocupar a or an para los uncountables. So, tenemos ideas abstractas. 
todas las emociones. <risa> Happiness, por ejemplo. Sadness, tristeza, aquí como. Ideas, música, son ideas abstractas. Entonces, eso no se puede contar. Como tú mencionabas antes, los líquidos y los gases. La cerveza no se puede contar. Sí se pueden contar vasos de cerveza. Y ya está aceptado. Give me two beers. Dame dos cervezas. Pero no es gramaticalmente. Entonces, los líquidos como water or coffee no se pueden contar. Sí puedes decir una botella de agua y una taza de agua, una taza de café. Con medidas, sí lo puedes hacer. La niebla es un gas. No se puede contar. Un fart tampoco se puede contar. ¿Okay? Las acciones, sí, porque... Wow. Se me salió uno, está bien, ahí sí se puede contar, mm. pero estamos contando one, la one, acción. Far, two, far, three, far. Ajá, pero no el gas. Entonces, super quick, cuando son hechos de partes pequeñas, como por ejemplo, sand, sugar, beans, or traffic. Están hechos de partes pequeñas. Also, you have materials. You cannot count materials. Plástico, vidrio, eh, acero, hielo madera. Todos esos no se pueden contar. Some food. Bacon. No se puede contar. Sí puedes contar eh, rodajitas de esto. Meat. No se cuentan. Las carnes no se pueden contar. Sí puedes decir one steak, como un filete. Bread. No se cuenta. Strawberries. Sí las puedes contar, pero generalmente se venden en libras. ¿Ok? Y también ex. El ex, cuando ya está cocinado, así es revuelto, no lo contás. Pero cuando está todavía en la cáscara, sí. Entonces, es que tú te vayas exponiendo. Y tenemos que tener mucho cuidado con ciertos, que, por ejemplo, money. Money en sí no es contable. Sí, los dólares, los euros. Consejos. Te voy a dar dos consejos. Número uno, ya no le escribas. Número dos, tener dignidad. Entonces, en español sí se pueden contar, pero en inglés no. Advice es advice y se ocupa some advice. Estos son como excepciones. Y también the news. Tengo dos noticias para vos. La primera me despidieron. La segunda estoy buscando trabajo. Entonces, ya no se meten así, sino que the news, aunque vaya en plural, hey, um, I have some news for you. I have a news for you, a, a, a big news for you. Entonces, prácticamente es que tú empieces a ver las categorías y ya tengas una cierta idea para que cuando te digan, por ejemplo, um, sal. Ah, no, pero es que la sal no se cuenta porque son cositas pequeñas. O, ah, no, eso es un líquido, no se cuenta. Entonces, ya es que tú vayas desarrollando un poquito más de conciencia de... ¿Cuáles cosas se pueden contar? Que aquí, si te fijas, casi no hay categoría. Pero en los no contables, sí. Entonces, aprendete los no contables. Ideas abstractas, líquidos, hechos de partes pequeñas, eh, materiales, comida. Y todo lo demás se puede contar. Entre comillas. ¿Estamos más o menos? Good. Yes. Así que hay igual. Esto lo voy a grabar en un par de días y lo voy a subir. Ok, excelente. Thanks, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Excelente. Got it, guys. I have a new, another class right now. Um, thank you very much for being a part of this. Get out of here. See you tomorrow. Okay, see, see you tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.